that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. Was something wrong there? To the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. That was weird. Shields up, Ironbreakers. Here we go. So, what is the purpose of today's run? Obviously, like I said, we're going to celebrate the fact that we finally got a sub button. Uh, and today's run is going to have two specific things. So first, as soon as I can, I'm going to get a fist weapon for my character. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be using fists before that because you wouldn't deal any damage. So that's kind of dumb. So first, we got to get us a fist weapon. Once we get a fist weapon, we're going to only use a fist weapon. And we're never going to use shields. So, I'm scared. I don't think I've ever played a Dark Souls game without a shield. The only playthrough I can remember where I wasn't using a shield was the Smoin Ornstein playthrough that I did with Pally Time. But in that playthrough, I was blocking with the hammer and I had so much HP it didn't even matter. So, yeah, that wasn't, you know, that wasn't really like a challenge run. So... Playing from the start without a shield, I think, is going to dick me over big time. But hey, what the hell? We got to keep things interesting, am I right? New game. Oh, I actually have to use my keyboard for that. Shipnall 2010, welcome to Ironbreakers. Thank you very much for raising your shield. What the hell am I going to call this character? I haven't even thought about that. Hmm. There. Fight me. Fight me. It's more like come at me, bro. Close and personal. Mm, I don't know. The Fist of Khan. Oh, that's nice. The Fist of Khan. The Fist of Khan. Not entirely sure the stats that I'm gonna need. I think I'm just gonna need some friggin' strength. Class, I think the bandit's the one with the most strength, right? Yep. Why the bandit has 10 faith, I will never know. We could just go deprived. Pyro has very little faith, a little bit of intelligence, some strength. Basically, we'll want to go to Andre as fast as possible. Uh, does that mean I have to go... Do you have to go through... You have to go through the Taurus Demon to get to Andre. Well, not technically. Man, I don't remember a lot of the stuff. It's gonna be weird. I think Bandit it is, because he's got a crap ton of strength, he's got endurance, he's got vitality, he's ready to rock, so it's going to be a Bandit. I'm going to take the Master Key. Physique. Average. Face. I think I was just using, was it Commoner? No, it was something else, wasn't it? Third one Cleric? I don't remember what I used to have. Maybe it was the Delta Farmer. A store and noble, dragon's collar. Ah, the hell with it. Uh, 
ponytail, wild. I think most of my characters have wild hair. Parted center, semi-long, curly, and bobbed. No, no, no. We're gonna just have regular ass short hair, short hair. Just gonna be like as common as they come. Collect hair and eye color. Oh, has it always been like that? Your air, your hair matches the color of your eyes. Doesn't seem right. What if I have green eyes? Like what the fuck? I'll just be Prince fucking charming. Deep purple. <laughs> what the hell? I don't remember this being like this. I know it's been a long time, but I don't remember this being like this at all. Oh, you can still customize it, I guess, if you really want to, like, get into it. Color. I want the color of my eyes. And nothing else matters. Rurikon doesn't remember how to do Dark Souls. I don't. I don't. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of gray crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods pulled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. will fade and only dark will remain. Even now there are only embers and man sees not light but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen 
carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. It has been a long time. And then I have another disadvantage. You guys want to know what the other disadvantage is I have right now? Other than playing with fist weapons, playing with no shields, having not played Dark Souls for probably over a year or something along those lines. The biggest disadvantage of all, let me show you. I have to play with this controller. It's like I haven't been able to... Configured DS4 Windows, so I can't use my DualShock. Oh, <laughs> my DualShock. Santa Knight 2, thank you very much for uh, summoning the Sun Bros. So, is that the Elite controller? No, this is regular Xbox One controller. Let's see if I still remember how to play this game, shall we? It actually takes this long to kill something with your fists. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh man, this is gonna go so wrong. I swear to god, I can't even get used to these damn buttons. Also, there's absolutely no reason to be killing these poor hollows. I was pressing circle to climb faster, but that's not a thing in Dark Souls 1. You guys hear that? That's the sound of, the, of donations on the channel. I'm not sure if people ever notice that, but it is exactly this. It's whenever you light a bonfire, that's the sound of whenever someone donates, and I call it, well, yeah, because the same sound is when you actually kindle the bonfire. That's the sound that I put on there. Why aren't you using your Joy-Cons? <laughs> the Joy-Cons, that'd be good. I'd actually, I would rather use the Joy-Cons, to be completely honest. I would totally rather do that, but unfortunately that is not an option. Actually, you probably can, like, emulate that shit and make it look like a friggin' Xbox thing through X input. Someone has to have written that somewhere. Oh, no shield. I keep pressing X to run, because the last game of this nature that I played was Neo. And in Neo, you run using X. Now, I just said no shield, and I said I'd get a fucking owl. I'd get a fist weapon as soon as possible, but until I get that fist weapon, 
I'm gonna have to kill stuff somehow, you know? I can't just, like, run around getting my own ass killed. Hopefully the game's not too dark. And also, I've seen so many people doing runs in Dark Souls. They're so insensitive. They just come over here and friggin' murder Oscar. Such a nice guy. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Yes. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Thank you. Oh, and this. Appreciate that, sir. Now I must bid farewell. No, don't I would hate go. to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Don't go, I'm begging you to stay. Don't go away. No, you don't kill him by triggering the boulder. The boulder doesn't kill him. He fell. He fell from there, see? He fell from there, onto here, and he hurt himself. The boulder crashes into this wall and then ends up here. It doesn't crush Oscar. That's not a thing. So no, you don't do that. <laughs> okay. Either way, we're gonna go through here. Now he dies. Rusty. Jesus. It's gonna take me a while to get back into the swing of things. You guys are gonna have to bear with me. Like, my muscle memory is all over the fucking place right now. I think that is gonna make this even more interesting. How fucked up my muscle memory is. Hello. Oh, it's gonna be so hard for me to recognize when someone when someone follows me in the channel now because because the, the soul sounds are there. Ow! God, this is so bad. I was about to hit block because that's just like it's my instant reaction to. Anything coming at me is like, I'm a block. So I think we'll probably make a run. What the hell is that? Oh my god, look at that yellow bar. Those 60 FPS jumps though, they're so good. <laughs> I know what that bar is. Basically, I was trying to scale down the UI. Apparently, that feature does not work very good. So I'm gonna have to shut this down and scale it back to normal. Because I can't even see bosses' health like this. <laughs> the UI is all kinds of messed up. Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I'm doing a terrible job. <laughs> it's been too long. It's just been too long. 
Well, at least we haven't died to anything stupid. Yet. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. There's something wrong there. To the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. That was weird. Yeah, Mr. Edgy, at some point I want to do that, the randomizer thing. It's just, I looked at, I looked at that stuff and it seemed like a pain in the ass to set up. I didn't feel like installing all of that stuff. Okay, we're going to have to go back to the S-Fix. <laughs> look at this. Oh my god, I broke the UI, you guys. It's broken. It's fucking broken. Now that we've troubleshot most of the issues I expect to encounter, I think we're finally good to get started. So, let's go ahead, save on this bonfire, use up our souls. Should I do the usual runs where I get the fucking Firekeeper souls early and shit? I remember doing that. That's still a thing, right? There's like three Firekeeper souls that you can get real early, but you don't want to get that third one because then Lawtrek will come in and kill her. And again, we should let him do it. Fuck it. Just let him do it. Let him kill her. Uh, let's get Vitality. Strength. Not even touching any other stats. Vitality, Strength, and Endurance. That's it. Hey, Brosif, you want to tell me things about the bells and shit? Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are... Actually, two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? to this accursed land of the undead. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. No. I don't know. Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> I'm not hollow. What are you talking about? This is how my face always looked. Ooh, mm, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Is that a threat? Mm -hmm. What? You want to hear more? Yes. Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully then. 
One of the bells is up above in the undead. You'll have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burg through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burg within the plague-infested blight town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of the dialogue, so I'm just kind of... This, this run is also for me to just kind of reminisce. Bloody nostalgia. hell, what is it now? <laughs> He's upset. You ask too many questions. Hey, dude, tell me how you really feel. Mm -hmm. What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. He's upset. We've upset him. Mm hmm? I'm Fine. Be that way, dude. Whatever. I think he's got a couple of new dialogues that I've never heard before. Mm hmm? It's not this one? Oh, it's through here. Okay. I need to get the shinies. There's so many shinies in here. If I'm gonna two wheel, if I'm gonna two hand, I can probably get this Vihanda. That's Vihanda. Hey, Brosif. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. This guy always struck me as a fucking snob, like some fucking upper class son of a bitch who's almost like, stay away from me, and then you keep Hello talking there. to him. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance, but I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. And then when he gives you this, I picture this this transaction here being like you're talking with him dude grabs a coin throws it in your face just like smack and he's like fucking take it and get the fuck out of here that's 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 what i interpreted this as also Geralt of africa i don't know if you ever watched ign's review on demon souls but the reviewer says that the story is a typical good versus evil plot do you think he understood what kind of story from software was trying to tell it seems to me like he didn't really get it no i don't think he got the idea I don't remember who it was, but there was also someone who reviewed Demon Souls and gave it a two needless deaths out of five. And I was like, <laughs> really? You're going to give Demon Souls a two out of five? <laughs> like, fuck you. <laughs> oh, my. You again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? And then he warms up to you. Like, first he throws a coin in your face and he's like, get the fuck away from me. And then he's like, eh, whatever. You look like, you look like you're okay. <laughs> sure. Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Now, let me share my miracles. Only, their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Mm, learn gesture. Shrug. Tells you all these. Come again. The Come effectiveness again. of the teachings depend upon your faith. Oh, oh, oh your faith. No. Oh. I will teach you mi okay. Come again. The uh, let's see if I remember how to do... Also, I can switch between... 30... and 60. That's right. For whenever I need to do the, the stupid jump. But this is the only time where you really have to do it. No, there's, there's also a, a ladder or something that if you don't switch back to 30, you'll fall through the world. I'll show you guys how to fall through the world if you want to see that. <laughs> Shit's hilarious. <laughs> For those of you that never saw it, it's pretty hilarious. But... Oh, this is another thing. I don't remember where the... 
where the mimics are. I don't think I remember where all the mimics are. I'm pretty sure there's none in this startup area, but there's a lot of things I don't remember. You guys know that the first time I fell in here, I'm like, well, what the fuck? How do I leave? Because I was like in this position. And I'm like, I'm stuck. There's no way out. And I kept walking around and I never looked to the right location to leave. And I was like, I'm stuck. Stuck. I can't leave. <laughs> Well, I guess it's time for us to die, right? You know, everybody's gotta die sometime. Everybody's gotta die sometime. Oh my god. This is so bad. This is terrible. No! And I was pressing X to dodge, not X, A, whatever. God, I'm good. Look at that. Fucking amazing. Actually, I can use the scimitar in my offhand to parry, right? I think. Actually, I can parry with my offhand. Ha! Take that, you filthy skeleton. Bet you didn't see that coming. Pressing A to dodge. Holy shit! Hey guys, if you see my invincibility frames. Oh my god, I forgot how how much time you're standing still whenever you S this in Dark Souls 1. Well, it's time to die anyway, so let's go. Everybody's gotta learn sometime. Oh, this is the winged spear? Where's it's my Honda? Zweihander! There we go. No! Don't kill me! Leave me alone! I am innocent! God damn it! I tell you! I am innocent! I wasn't the one cheating on my wife! Leave me alone! I've been watching Californication, so that was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> uh, uh, there was also a shield here. Not here, here. More like... Why would you do this? Not exactly sure why I want to pick up this shield, since I'm not going to be using shields, but... Eh. We got our souls too. There's like 200 souls in here, goddammit. Hey yo, can we survive? Can we survive? Yeah, buddy. Way too much dex. Yeah, dude, I'm not putting a single point in there unless I absolutely have to. Can someone check what's the prerequisite for Dragon Bone Fist? <laughs> it's probably gonna require me to have that dex. Wait to get that Cestus, man. Some there's people ringing the bell right now. So cool. So cool. Hey, you cannot speak. Oh well. Fine. Bye bye then. We're gonna go downstairs. I keep pressing A to run. God. Got that muscle memory from Neo. Plenty strength and no other um no other stats. Thank you. Why did it go up? I don't I didn't touch it. I guess I'm already assuming that I'm going to die, or the game's assuming that I'm going to die. I'm not sure which one's worse. It's all the name of a soldier.
Okay, so these guys aren't bothering me, so I'm not going to bother them. You guys might not believe this, but the very first time I played Dark Souls, this is the first place I came to. I mean, I didn't stay. I got here, I saw the terrible looking ghost, and I fucking left. I mean, I died, and then I never came back. But this was the first place I actually came down to. Because I was like, well, there's a bell up, and there's a bell down. I'm going to go check the bell down first. And then it appeared. And then I was like, eh, the game probably doesn't want me to come here yet. I don't know. Just this gut feeling I get. Now we die. Oh my god, we're gonna live. Oh. oh shit, I shouldn't have drank because it takes too long. Oh my god, we survived. We survived, people. Are you not entertained? Can't believe we survived the first kamikaze, um... First kamikaze firekeeper soul. Also, we should talk with the uh, with the dude that's down here. Oh, this is like a, an S talk, right? Can you parry with the S talk? Is that a thing? I guess I can probably parry better with the scimitar. But can I equip the scimitar? Nope. I also cannot equip the S talk, so it doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Ah, it'll be fine. Look at that parry animation, though. Wacha! Wacha! <laughs> it's just more stylish. Wacha! <laughs> I'm a fucking ninja! Yo, Brosif. How you doing? Mm. Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Rickett of Vinheim. I was once an established smith, but look at me now. Can you believe it? Hmm? What is it? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, there's not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in Vinheim. I couldn't buy off this guy. Eh, not a whole lot, as it turns out. Hmm? What is it? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed, undead. But what's there really to moan about? We're both undead. What was it? No real reason to complain. What is it? What is it? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cut. Oh man. Sub button not work? Oh wait, there was this thing that they told me I should do. Wait a second, I can probably fix. <clears throat> I think I know what it is. Whoa! Praise the sun. Back Praise the sun! Slash. <laughs> I love how it said slash o slash. Thank you very much, Lauren Ezzo. Tip of the hat to you, sir. Thank you very much for kindling the bonfire. Mm -hmm. What's that? Anyway, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we're going through here, and I'm going to see if I can get... Couple of things. First, I want to get that nice little red suit. The only thing that's not nice about that suit is the head. The head looks terrible. I'm gonna have to bypass a lot of dudes to do that, though. Isn't there one that's isolated first? I'd like to practice some parrying. Yeah, you. Well, it's either parry or get fucking murdered, so there's that. Oh! Get down, son! <laughs> well, how much for that? Oh, 
again! Whiffs are real. That's quite enough out of you. I just want to practice some pairing because I'm gonna have to get used to it for this particular playthrough. No, don't break shit on my account. Welcome to Blight Town. You guys want to know something interesting? I think a lot of people aren't aware of this, but like, the reason why Blighttown used to lag so hard on consoles is actually because of the AI. So it's like, the AI that is required to get the enemies to navigate this space is so fucking intense that, you know, that's what would stress out the older generation consoles. People thought it was the visuals, it was not the visuals. Oh snap. Get away! Stop! Oh my god, there's three of them! Too much, too much. Is this the log? Oh, it's not the log yet. Shit, we're toxic. We're dead! It's over! Where the fuck's the log? Oh, there it is. So it's what, one further down? I fell on this log so many times because of the 60 FPS patch. I'm not even kidding. You. No, that's toxic. Thank you. There's monsters dropping dead all over the place. Hey, we got 1500 souls. I could actually back off and survive. I think I'll do that. Because we can level up at least once, I think. Now then. Can I equip any part of the robes yet? Nope. There's not even a way to actually see your weight, right? You always just have to roll. Ah, this will do for now. Out how obscene toxic was. Yeah, toxic is fucking insane. No, that you're toxic. So for this next part, we're gonna die, because I actually I've never been able to. I think I might have been able to do it once, where I collected the Firekeeper soul and survived. But it's like... Highly unlikely. Ow. I forgot that on this one you can't run and dodge. That's gonna be a problem, because I'm not gonna be able to like do the old... ...locking dodge thing. But there's actually a way where if you're wielding a shield... You can run, hit the block button, and then dodge, and you can be running and switch into a dodge. Otherwise, most of the times you're going to jump instead of dodging, which 
is obviously a problem. No, the toxic. mission I'm dead but it's good as long as we get this yes we got it oh my god 2,000 souls how the fuck did I get that how does that even work got it am I gonna survive Please! The darts! They're too strong! Pretty sure I actually don't remember the last time I survived that. I've always died there. Hey, this is good. It's a couple of levels. All we need is strength. Ba -ba -da -da -da. All we need is strength. Ba -ba -da -da -da. All we need is strength. Strength. Strength is all we need. Hey, we can kind of run around with the red robes. That's cool. Now that we have that, let's go meet up. Let's go see a man about some fists. Gotta go see a man about some fists. 